Hi, this is Dr. John Bergdorf. In this video, we're going to explore the question of whether you can write the equation of a quadratic function if you first know its graph, and in particular, if all you know is that the graph is a parabola and you're only given two points on that parabola. Let's jump into an example and see if we can do that. So I have a parabola drawn here, and I've given you two points. It's important to note that one of those is the vertex, and then there's just some other point. Now, from what we've seen already, we know that the equation of any parabola can be written in the form f of x is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. And this builds on what we know about transformations in graphs from earlier studies in this course. And remembering in particular that when you add or subtract a quantity inside the parentheses, that causes the vertex to move left or right from the origin. And when you add a quantity on the end, that causes the vertex to move up and down. Now, the fact that you know the vertex is enough to tell you a good deal about what this equation looks like. This vertex here is at the point 2, negative 2, which means that, the, that compared to the origin, the vertex has shifted 2 units to the right and 2 units down. We would illustrate that in an equation by replacing the h with a 2. The x minus 2 in the parentheses would have the effect of shifting a a graph, or a, a vertex rather, from the origin two units to the right, and then to shift two units down we would have a negative two where the k is. So I know at least that this function has to have this general form, and the only thing that is unknown is what the a is. Actually all you need to know is the second point, and that second point will help you with that because the second point is a point that has to be a solution of this equation. Let's write down what that point is. It's the point zero, 3. So I'll just put that over here. Just looking at the graph, the point zero, 3, which means that if x is 0, y has to be 3. Now y is the same as f of x, so this would tell me that if the x is 0, then the y has to be 3, and that gives me an equation that I can solve for a. And that's very nice. Let's see if we can do that. a is the only unknown. So working in parentheses first, we would have that 3 is equal to a times negative 2 squared minus 2. Negative 2 squared is 4, so 3 is equal to 4a minus 2. Add 2 to both sides. So let's write that like that. 3 plus 2 equals 4a minus 2 plus 2. That would give me 4a is equal to 5. Let's kind of borrow a little corner over here. 5 is equal to 4a. Let me do that in green, actually. 5 is equal to 4a. So a must be 5 fourths. Okay, we don't always love fractions. But that tells me that the equation of that parabola has to be f of x equals 5 fourths times x minus 2 squared minus 2. And that's the equation of the parabola. So we're kind of done. Now, the only thing we have to do still is, if we look back a page, the question is asking us to write the equation in general form. General form for a quadratic function looks like this. f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So to get this into this formula, we're going to have to do a little bit of algebra. Mainly, we're going to have to square the x minus 2. So we would think about, okay, 
x minus 2 squared, that would be a perfect square trinomial. Squaring a, uh, a binomial would give me an x squared minus 2 times 2 times x, so that's minus 4x plus 4, that's the 2 squared. And if we're not sure, we can certainly use the FOIL rule and we would get exactly the same thing. Then distribute the 5 fourths across the parentheses like this. And our function would look like 5 fourths x squared. The 5 fourths times the 4x, the 4s would divide out, leaving me with minus 5x. And again, the 5 fourths times the 4, the 4s would divide out, leaving me a positive 5. And then I would just combine like terms. So yes, we can get the equation in general form of a quadratic function if all we know is the that the graph is a parabola and we know the vertex and just one other point. And that's all there is to it.